all of us are arjuns caught in their own flesh in their blood in their tears in their emotions in their past and being caught we forget what our dharma is therefore bhagavad gita is immortal as long as arjun lives within us we will continue to need krishna so i notice i feel the sense of desperation or urgency that my parents would get the teachings and i guess if i'm if i go deeper into that i think that senses because i don't want to really talk about the other stuff that perhaps we we used to talk about for years so i don't want to know who's getting married i don't want to know who's working where i don't want to know the gossip so i can see that's my self interest in just not finding that interesting so i'm trying to teach them or show them something else and i notice i get frustrated so when they don't feel interested in it i just drop it and i move on and i don't really engage or i kind of ignore them when they talk about the other stuff and then i feel guilty that i'm just ignoring them and i can sense that they feel that i've just kind of cut myself off and gone away so i guess my question is why do i it doesn't seem to be a middle path it's either get the teachings or i will i get, I get what you are saying there is a middle path there is a convergence right you can very fearlessly engage with them in topics of their choice don't worry get into what they want to say see what they want to say and if your understanding has any roots then your engagement will slowly gradually nudge them towards the right space so it's not a binary where either you talk core spirituality or you talk pure gossip out of that gossip can emerge a few rays of light it's possible in fact that's that's the only hope that's the only way otherwise how will you make darkness meet light so maybe i'm not doing this right but when i usually do this with my parents it tends to end up in an argument oh. don't do this with an agenda so let's i'll give you an example so say for example my dad says why don't you spend time in the house and i say i don't want to be around this type of tv because it's selling a version of life that i don't want to live so then he says well that's just your opinion i'm doing it just for fun and we kind of get into a position where we each have our own I position otherwise you you join him in his fun why not it feels <coughs> boring now i would have done it before i understand that kind of sacrifice is needed go through the boredom so maybe after I a point you know it would actually become interesting to observe why somebody would want to not only tolerate but actually embrace that boredom why don't you want to understand why not only your dad but but millions of people in the country hmm, over a billion actually actively patronize that kind of boring stuff if you can if you can put your finger on that maybe you will understand more about yourself as well what is it in that thing that makes so many people remain glued to the screen i guess to me it seems something you have left behind long back no it seems very fake in the sense that i can see the fakeness and why can't you see the fakeness had it been completely fake it couldn't have been so enthralling there is something there that captivates don't you want to know how maya works if you don't want to know how she works you'll never be able to avoid her or win her over maybe i'm um, so in some ways i think i do see what they're doing so it's the glamour it's the promise of a different life it's not just that dear yes you very well know 
that some of the best MBA minds are employed in the in the advertising industry, in in, in so many of these places that dish out the TV stuff to you. So obviously, very very sharp, very smart, rather very cunning minds are at work in drafting those images and sounds. Hmm? Don't you want to see through their ploy? Don't you want to see exactly why that that man is appearing with that kind of face? Because let's say it's just a 12 second thing. Don't you want to see how much has been packed into those 12 seconds? Hmm? Or or if it's a it's a TV serial or if it's an episode of something or a movie, don't you want to see how exactly that fellow wants to play with your mind? Mm -hmm. hmm? If you if you don't understand that, sooner than later you too might become a victim. If not of that thing, then of something else. So maybe my issue is that I feel that I get the consumer ads because I used to work behind the scenes. I think being able to take it to other areas of my life is the part I haven't investigated. So I know what happens behind the scenes. Then, then just revise the syllabus, use that as an opportunity. You know, I see that ad and now I see how it has been manufactured. Hmm? what the opening jingle means, what that color combination means, how the mm, audience's mind is being captivated. Can I just redo the whole math? And, I guess and can, can, you, can you not only know it for yourself, uh, but also open it to your dad? Maybe he'll find that interesting. Dad, dad, can we just pause this thing here? Here, do you see why blue follows red? So because I that's been used to signal a certain thing to your mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not just a, a random or uh, <coughs> meaningless flow of sights, sounds, actions. There is a deep mechanism at work. So I guess I try to do that even when we go shopping to point out that this is placed here for a certain reason, this is a promoted item, things like that. But so I guess maybe the underlying question is, why do I get frustrated at his or my parents' refusal to see this? Because you underestimate Maya. Because maybe you are in the illusion that you have conquered, that you have left her way behind. Hmm? Because probably you do not perceive that you too are still threatened. You feel, oh, the thing is so easy. I overpowered it. Why is my dad not able to accomplish this simple feat? Maybe it's actually so difficult that not only your dad is failing, even you have not fully succeeded. Once you realize what kind of difficult customer she is, you will then not berate somebody for failing to mm, <sighs> thank you